Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac. We are just going to do a Blue Baby run today. Once again, I don't trust the random button whatsoever, and it feels like it's been forever since we played this guy. It also feels like every time I play this guy, I get double floors all of the time. Again, it's one of those conspiracy theories I have about this character. I swear, Blue Baby, double floors. Kane, libraries. I feel like Kane gets the better deal out of that, but whatever. Anyway, so last time, if you didn't see last episode, I recommend you go check it out. The luck was kind of off the chair, you get out of here. The luck was kind of off the chart, and particularly on the chest, we got some really cool items that we've never actually gotten before. Including the Play-Doh cookie, or whatever the hell it was called. I think it was a Play-Doh cookie. Which was uh, the most recent item that they added, which I believe the description... Hey, we got a soul hearts. Description says something like, depending on your character, it has different effects. Don't really know what it did for us, because we had so many different things going on, but... Uh, yeah, really cool run. Okay. That was close. This is even closer. Holy shit. And yes, there's a bomb. Uh, not a bomb. There's a tinder rock down there and a chest. I would love to get a bomb and get to that. Hint, hint. Give me a bomb game. If you could die, sir. You're not dying. Thank you. Oh, well, we got a key. That's a good thing because again, we have a double floor here. Hey, another penny. Find a penny and pick it up. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> but hey, oh, come on. At least we got a free golden chest out of it, which we only got two cents for. I really hate this room. Like, if you're fast enough, there's pro oh, shit. There's probably a way you can get away from them without taking damage, but I just never seem to. Maybe that's because I suck. It seems entirely possible, but uh, yeah, really not a fan of that room. Okay, and we have our first treasure room here. If these things could die. Okay. That was very, very close. Give me a bomb. Oh, we got another key. I'm okay with it. Money? Yeah. You sick. Right, so we only need 10 more cents and we can actually afford the shop, and we have a shit ton of keys, so we can definitely go there. At least we get a Rogue Bombs a Keys pill. And we got Mr. Boom, which, normally not an amazing item, but much better than the poop in my opinion. Plus, now we can actually get to this uh, chest and the Tinder Rock over here, so I'm okay with that. Plus, we can also look for secret rooms, and if we really need to, we can use it offensively, so... Honestly, I think Mr. Boom's underrated. It's a pretty decent space for item. It's not amazing, but it's not that bad. Speaking of not that bad, we also got, oh, I hate this room, we also got Isaac's head, which, again, as trinkets go, it's definitely not one of the best ones, however, when you have no trinket, pretty decent, because, you know, it allows us to do some extra damage, and since our damage is so low, it's pretty much doubling our outputs, which is kind of freaking insane, I mean, you know, assuming the thing actually hits. Yeah, we get, oh, shit. Okay, we're fine. And with four and a half soul hearts, it might be worth fighting the bosses right now, just because if we don't take too much damage, we can actually afford a deal with the devil. Ouch! You dick. Plus, once we kill the Widow here, we'll get a charge on Mr. Boom, so if we need to, we can use him on the next boss. You see? Now you're thinking with portals. This is, uh, this is a very shitty version of the Widow, because he spawns the double spiders, and they take a shit ton of hits for us to kill at this point. So you know, if you can give me some damage or fire rate up, that would be nice. Uh, worst, you know, a heart would be okay. Give me the box or something. Really? We got soap? Eh. Not entirely sure what the soap does. I think it shot speed up and... Something else. I just can't remember what the something else is. I don't feel any quicker, so it's probably not speed. I'm pretty damn sure it's not damage. It might be fire rate, but I also don't think it is. I don't know what it does. I just don't know. That sucks. We're down at three hearts, but we do have a deal with the devil, so... Oh, thank you. I was going to say, if we can get like a HP up pill or something here, we can now actually afford it, and we'll save the other two for now. Okay. Definitely don't want the uh, forget me now. I think I will take uh, Spirit of the Night, even though it only... You know, we only have two hearts left, which is very dangerous. However, with the ability to fly, you know, it could save us a lot of damage and get us free booty and stuff like that that we otherwise wouldn't be able to get to, so... I think it's worth the risk. It's pretty good, but, you know, it puts us in a bit of a shitty position, at least for now. It also means rooms like this, where normally we could get Velociraptor Jurassic Park style by those guys, we can just fly away gracefully. Give me Soul Hearts. Oh, thank you. Okay, I gotta say, we've been pretty goddamn lucky on the Soul Hearts so far. We had, like, what, three Tinder Rocks already, I think? And we haven't even finished the floor yet. We haven't even found the shop or the second treasure room, so... We might find more. And with Mr. Boom, we can actually blow the damn things up. At least, probably. Right, but speaking of blowing things up, we're gonna get rid of this. Well, we got our bomb back in a couple of cents. So again, we only need eight more and we can afford the shop. It's not looking that likely, since that was our best chance to get money. Holy shit. 
That's a lot of bombs for one key. And we got a key back and some more money. But yeah, I really don't think we're going to be able to afford the shot, but it could happen. It just doesn't seem very likely. And, and suddenly we have a ton of bombs. And though like two rooms ago, we had only one to our name. And there's another one. Well, all right then. I'm not complaining, but like, it that okay. We'll take Demon Baby. Not like we can reroll him. I know he's a special item, blah, blah, blah. You should only pick it up at the end of the floor. It's backtracking, man. It's, it's really not going to make a tangible difference. And I'm lazy. What do you want from me? I'm very, very lazy. Now, we could use this guy as a bomb on the wall, but we have so many of them. Why bother? You know, we'll just end up risking damage. Okay. We could look for the second secret room. But since it's a double floor, there's like a shit ton of positions that it could be in. So, we're just gonna clear out the rest of the floor, and we'll see if we can afford the shop. It might be worth going in there anyway, just in case something's half price. Because we do have not a shit ton of keys, but we have a decent amount. So yeah, screw it, we'll try Oh, damn it. It's tempting to buy a key back. It's also kind of tempting to buy the bomb. And it's also tempting just to freaking leave. What I think I will do instead is we'll put some money into this guy. Because apparently he can randomly give you the steam cell effects. They're just on the off chance that that worked. Which it didn't. Son of a bitch. Well, screw you then, buddy. It's very tempting to buy these things. Yeah, fuck it, we'll buy the key. It's a waste of money, but you know, whatever. But yeah, what I was hoping for was we could give him enough money so that we went down to 7 cents so that we could afford a half price battery. Then hopefully he was going to give us the steam cell effect so that we could buy the battery. It didn't work out in a way. I, I've given that guy money before, admittedly not that much. Because it's kind of boring to just stand there and donate, but... Yeah, the dude has never actually given me anything whatsoever, so... I don't know if they're just broken or if they take a lot more money to pay out. I, I really have no idea, but... Uh, yeah, frankly, those guys suck. And if you could die, sir. Thank you. Hey! What a dime. Oh, thank you. And we, we do not want that skull, because that sucks as this character. Little Chubby's pretty goddamn good. Does extra damage. Piercing shots. At least from him. So yeah, not a bad item. And that's... That is more like it. And we'll also buy the Soul Heart, because you know what? Screw donating to that guy again. You've already jipped me once. I wonder if we can get stuff from blowing him up. Oh, you can. Okay. So that might be worth knowing in the future, we might be able to blow those guys up to potentially get some more money or something if we're a little bit short. So, you know, at least they have some use, as long as you have a bomb, which we do, so that's okay. And this, uh, this room's kind of sucky, you know, we have to fight three waves, we're probably gonna take some damage here. We didn't really get that much of a payout, but it was worth a risk, because even if we take damage, we're not taking red heart damage, so it's not gonna ruin our chance for a deal with the devil. Not that we stand a good chance of one anyway, because we already got one on the last floor and blah blah blah. Lowers your chances on the next floor, so yeah. It's probably not gonna happen, but if it does... At least we have the hearts. Hey, we got a key. Good. I'm really not sure how I feel about the music in Community Remix. Like, it's a very mixed bag for me. I tend to really like this theme, and a couple of the other ones, but like, I really don't like the new boss theme. It's not so bad when it gets going, but like right at the start, it sounds like someone's strumming the shit out of a banjo or something. It's like, dun, 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 dun. but I don't know, man. I just, I really don't like the start of the new boss theme. Like, it really kind of bothers me. And I know the community is very divided on that. Like, some people fucking love it. And some people like me, really not huge fans of it. But uh, yeah, I mean, generally speaking, I like the new music. Wouldn't say I prefer it, but I do like it. Speaking of new music, the uh, the secret room music is also a little bit strange. Like, it it reminds me of like something you'd have in like a space game like FTL or something. Not that I've actually played FTL, but you get my point. Like, it just sounds, it sounds sci-fi and like, you know, like you're in space or something. Which I don't know if that's what they were going for, but that's what it reminds me of. Apparently it's like the old Zelda theme, but I haven't actually played the original Zelda, so I had no freaking idea. Anyway, we have a mini boss up there. We'll leave that for now and we'll come back and fight it just in case. Oh, shit. Just in case we take a ton of damage from it. That way, you know, we're not lowering our hearts too much just in case we do get a deal with the devil that we can actually buy. So, yeah, we'll come back and fight him after we take out Chubb here. That's right, go, little Chubby. <laughs> Defeat your master or mother or whatever the hell that is. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so what I'm saying about Chubb with the piercing shots on an enemy like this that has a bunch of segments. He kicks the crap out of them. I like it. Kill me, you. There we go. Okay, one more good chubby shots, and Big Chub should die. Hey, no deal with the devil, but we did get the wire coat hanger for a bunch of tears up, which is extremely handy. Now, if we could just get some damage to actually go with that, 
That'd be nice, because we're still rolling on base damage now, and it's kind of showing. I mean, we do have Demon Baby and Little Chubby helping us. And they are making a tangible difference, but our shots? Not so great. And we got a new card and a key. Immolation. I have no idea what that does. It seems like the new red cards are extremely rare. Like, extremely freaking rare. But, uh... Yeah, I don't think I've ever had Immolation before, so I don't know what it does. I guess we'll try it on the boss or something? It wouldn't surprise me if it teleports me, because most of them seem to, so I may just regret the hell out of this, but... I'm gonna try it anyway. It doesn't sound like a teleport card. It sounds more like fire, but... There is no fire in this game, besides, you know, the ones I'm playing out right now, so... I have no freaking idea. We'll give it a try. And we're gonna use My Little Pony on the Blood Bank to get some free plays here. Hopefully get the Blood Bag, or at least the IV Bag, so it's out of the way. If nothing else, we'll get some more money. Here we go. I think you can get four plays, just. It didn't pay out, but we do have a ton of cash now. I'm down with it. And yes, we're gonna take back Mr. Boombastic, because honestly, as I mentioned, I actually think he's a pretty damn decent space bar item, especially considering our only other option is the Pony Horn, which... If it didn't take six rooms to charge, might be okay, but it does. It's kind of shitty in my estimation. And speaking of shitty, this is a, a shitty room. Well, you freaking chubby, what the hell are you doing? Hit the enemy, oh my god, you suck. Thank you. Right now, if one of you could die. There we go, that's more like it. And we got a random bomb, which I gotta wait for that to blow up just so I don't walk out and get blown up again. And we got Gertie. Yeah, I got, oh shit. Gertie shouldn't be too much of a problem because we can just periodically hide over this rock, assuming I don't fuck it up. And assuming I don't fuck it up tremendously, if we do get a deal with the devil, which we should have a really good chance of doing so, maybe even a guarantee, I'm not entirely sure how it works. But yeah, we have a good chance either way. I... Son of a bitch! <laughs> okay, so Immolation was a teleport. Well, fuck everything. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we're gonna be going back and finding Gunny again. That's really annoying. I... Okay, it's just a teleport. It didn't take us to the Iron Mirror Room. Don't panic. But, uh, yeah. Doesn't really surprise me that much. I don't know what it is with the new cards, man, but they all seem to be freaking teleports. It's kind of infuriating. And we accidentally found the secret room. I'm okay with it. And we got double keys. Good. And we got a shit ton of money. Would have preferred an item, for obvious reasons, because we don't really need the money at this point. We might do, but it seems kind of unlikely. We're okay for now, but more's not necessarily a bad thing. We might find a beggar or something. We'll see. Eugh. We'll take the HP upgrade, but... I don't really necessarily think it's that worth it on Blue Baby. It, it's worth it if I don't take damage. But I very well could take damage here. Yeah. But I'm mostly also taking it just so that we don't end up getting that specific HP upgrade when we kill a boss or something. It's, you know, giving us a very slightly higher chance of getting something more useful like the crates or the pentagram or whatever, even though the pentagram is incredibly rare, but you get my point, so yeah. Yeah, I'm mostly just taking it so that it doesn't show up again, and the extra so hot, it's handy, it's not a, a son of a bitch. It's not a game changer, but, you know, assuming we didn't take damage, which we didn't, it's okay. And we got the Book of Revelations. Might be worth taking that. I don't really want to get rid of Mr. Boom, but... Well, at least use it once. Eh, I... I don't know. I really don't know. I guess we'll take it for now. Maybe I'll change my mind and we'll go back and get Mr. Boom, but... Uh, this is obviously a really handy item for Blue Baby. It gives us more soul hearts, which we need. The other reason this is good is I believe it uh, gives you a higher chance for a deal with the devil. I think this, the Book of Balao, and the Pentagram all give you a high chance. Hey! And we've got the Pearl, which will give us more Soul Heart Drops. It's all going to plan. I like it. We gotta blow this up, give me Soul Hearts. Son of a bitch, you let me down, Pearl. You let me down. At least we got some more money. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll roll with this for now, but I'm gonna miss Mr. Boom. Oh. And we got uh, Pestilence now. Okay. Now, I know why that's happened. It's because when you use a Book of Revelations on the floor, it gives you a really high chance for a horseman to show up. So, honestly, I'm kind of okay with that, because it's an easier fight than Gertie, plus the cube of meat, really handy. And chances are we just get a range upgrade or something like a HP upgrade instead, which we don't really need that much. And we did indeed get a deal with the devil. Is it Krampus? No. And we got uh, Sulfur and Common Cold. We'll take Common Cold, so far it's kind of tempting, but we did just pick up the Book of Revelations, so... Yeah, screw that shit. 
I would say it's going pretty damn well so far. We're down to four hearts, which is really a double floor. This is what I'm saying, man. Constant double floors on Blue Baby. And I really don't think that's my imagination. I swear there's something built into this character to just troll the shit out of you. So you get double floors. I don't get it. I do not get it. But it's infuriating. <laughs> I fucking hate them. It's like you get one less deal with the devil every single time. You get one less shop. There is literally no redeeming qualities of a double floor except on the womb. If you can get to the bosses quickly, it saves you a bunch of floor. That's the only time. The rest of the time, it just sucks ass. God damn it, Blue Baby. God damn it. But yeah, anyway, I was gonna say, it's going pretty well so far. We've got a good space for item. We've got decent damage. We got, you know, still base damage, but fire rates up. We got Common Cold to do poison damage over time. We have a little Chubby and Demon Baby. So you know it's going pretty well. We're flying. We've got adequate speed. It's just really the HP front that's a sore spot, but with the Pearl and the Book of Revelations, it should resolve itself, assuming we don't keep getting shitty robes like this. Hint, hint. Hey, I actually poisoned the guy. <laughs> Damn time! And we're gonna get a so hot after this room, so- Oh, you freaking moss dick. Screw you. It's also really annoying that little Chubby doesn't go over the rocks. Like, he's straight up just at that rock then. Oh, flap penny bam blam. Hey, and we got the box. God damn time. Huh? What was that noise, huh? It's just a box. Get out of the way. Whose footprints are these? Sorry, I went Metal Gear Solid for a second there. Okay, da 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 Chub, kill your master. Oh my god. That was a hell of a diagonal shot. So yeah, I'm trying to be careful here because obviously we're gonna like Zelda left pretty much everything lying on the floor there besides the penny, so. Gotta be a very very careful because I don't want to take damage. We're doing pretty decent on the soul hearts right now, so let's not ruin that. Will you stop poisoning the freaking eyeballs? It doesn't help. You're still alive? What the hell? Okay, it died. I don't know what the hell just exploded into a hail of bullets then, but whatever. I guess the eyes do that? We've got a new pill, which is shot speed down. I don't know if that's a good thing because we had base shot speed. It, it's... I, I have no idea. Whatever. Oh, really? Oh, fuck you, greed. Well, that's our last shop of the game, and this is what I'm saying. This is why double floors suck ass. And you hit me. Oh, screw you, buddy. That's right, get him, chub. Yeah. Suck on my chub. Okay, thank you. Now, here's what we're gonna do. Hey, another key. We're gonna go grab Flat Penny Bam Blam, and then we're gonna run back in here, grab all the coins, and hopefully get a shit ton of keys, then we'll switch you back out for the pearl that way. Really? Okay, we got one. Two? You shitting me? There was like 15 freaking coins there. That sucks. That really sucks. We should have got more like five or seven. Well, whatever. But, uh, you know, two free keys. We have nine. Even if we get a bombs of keys pill, we have a decent amount of bombs there. I don't think we really need flat penny. Maybe if we get the tail, that might be a bad idea. But, you know, for now, I think it's better that we go with the pearl because it's going to give us more soul hearts instead of red hearts, which... This blue baby, as you might imagine, is going to be much more handy for us because we literally can't do a damn thing with the red hearts. And we got Chubb again. Now, blue bosses usually drop soul hearts, but I think Chubb is like the only exception to that rule, and I don't know why. It's kind of infuriating. I would like a soul heart. Don't shoot me. Good work there, demon. We, we got half of one. So maybe it actually does. Maybe I'm wrong, or maybe it was just the pearl influencing that. Not really now. And we're gonna get another one after this room. It would have been really nice if we got, like, you know, the battery so that we could have charged the book fast to get more soul hearts or pick up a 9 volt or something, but alas, it was not to be. We found the second secret room accidentally, and we got a troll bomb. Well, screw you then. Right, we're gonna head over here to the curse room. It's only gonna cost us half a heart, so we may as well do it. Oh, really? Ouch! Hey, we got another soul heart down here. Don't really know what I'm hoping for. I mean, I guess, like, a rogue pact or something. Or at least more soul hearts. But yeah, you know, there's some good shit we can get in there. We might end up getting Guppy's Tail now. And I'll regret putting down the Flat Penny, but... Whatever. I will take Minimush. The range is handy-ish. The speed... Eh, you know, we were feeling a little tiny bit slow. So, it's a decent item. Not amazing, but it's not that bad. We kind of needed a little bit of both. So, I'm okay with it. Now, here's my opinion. I know we have the Book of Revelations, so the more rooms we go to, the more soul hearts we get. This is technically true. However, here's the problem. We're on double necropolis here. The more rooms we go to, the more chance we risk of shitty rooms like this, or the Masks of Infamy, etc, etc. Which are very dangerous. 
So I'm thinking we should just go straight for the freaking treasure room, which apparently wasn't in that direction, which really sucks. I think we should just go straight for the treasure room, just avoid as much of the floor as we possibly can. We already found the shop, we already found the first treasure room. Just go to the second one, go to the boss, get the crap out of here, because otherwise we're going to get a bunch of shitty rooms and just take a shit ton of damage. Like one bad room with the masks can cost you two or three soul hearts. We are flying, so we stand much more of a chance than we would normally, but still. I did that, son of a bitch! I really thought the spikes would kill them, but apparently not. You could die, sir. Thank you. And we got another chest, which contains the fork. Does nothing for us, because it's life steal. We don't even use red hearts. Yeah. Kind of shitty. Plus, we want to keep the pearl anyway. Would have been really nice if we got the, uh, the, the regular purse, so that we could hold two trinkets. Again, shops have been kind of shitty for us this run. We did get the compass, the battery, we could have got them, but we just got unlucky, so... You know, there were some decent items, but two shops out of all of them, and we can only afford one. It's kind of crappy. God, I hate these conga lining bastards. Now, here's my question. I don't actually know if this is the case, but... Normally, you'd want to tell... Hey, we got half a soul hearts. Oh, shit, get away from me. Normally, you'd want to teleport out... Yeah, Mr. Mega's good. Normally, you'd want to teleport out of the mom fight after you beat her so that you can get a chance of getting a deal with the devil when you get... Really? Another damn... Holy shit. So you can get a chance of getting a deal with the devil when you go back in. Now, I don't know if the Emperor card works for that, because the Emperor card obviously teleports you to the boss room. So I don't know if that would teleport us to the first boss room, or if it would still teleport us back to the second one, but then the doors will be open, so... Yeah, I don't know, if you know that, let me know, because it would be extremely handy information to have, because, uh... Yeah. If we knew that, then I could maybe use this after we beat her, open up the doors, and get a deal with the devil, but right now, I don't want to waste it, because it could be a very handy late game. And yes, the Mask of... Oh, you dick. Mask of Infamy, shitty boss. However, I think Chubby should be able to hit him, assuming, you know, he actually works. Oh, you, 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 Chubby! What am I paying you for? Get, go at the right time. Oh my god. You suck. I I feel like it's the poison that's mostly doing damage here. You, oh god, you, I hate you. I hate you so much. This is terrible. I thought Chubby would help, but no, he's doing like jack shit. I'm not even sure if he can hit. He doesn't seem to, but he's going at like all the wrong times. Which, yes, is partially my... Yeah, I don't think he works. Really? Why can you pierce everything else but not this? You're terrible. Okay, buddy, if you could die now. And yeah, I know we could use bombs, but at this point we may as well just save them, because... Finally. <laughs> and for all of that, we got a range upgrade. Fuck everything. <laughs> that was terrible. And we have Blue Mom here, which is like the worst version of her, but we're doing pretty decent damage. You know, Chubby, he's gonna yeah, chew the crap out of the eyeballs and stuff to go on the side, which is really disgusting, but you know. Effective nonetheless. And with the poison and demon baby, blah blah blah. This is a much, much easier boss fight than the Mask of Infamy was, which admittedly is usually the case, but still. And oh shit. She's dead. We got a soul heart and a half and the Polaroid, which as you might imagine on Blue Baby. Extremely handy, because every time we get hit now, we're gonna get like I think three seconds or two or something of Polaroid invincibility. <laughs> Speaking of which, we're actually gonna use that to farm the crap out of this guy. And hopefully get his item and some booty. Or, you know, maybe, hey, we got a card. Chariots. Well, that allows us to play him a few more times. And I, the red heart, not really that handy, buddy. Because that just gives you more red heart drops. We can't use them. We got another card. The moon. I guess we may as well teleport there now. And we got another slot machine. We'll blow it up. Give me soul hearts. No, a red heart. Son of a bitch. Well, here's the question. Do we go using more soul hearts on the guy? Because, you know, we get a few plays each time, like five-ish, four or five, something like that. Is it worth it? Is it worth it for one soul heart for a few plays on the guy? We got some stuff out of it. I don't really necessarily know if it's worth it, but I do want to try at least once or twice more, but we'll see how we're looking at the end of the floor, then maybe we'll come back to the guy. I hate this room. I hate this room so much, especially when they teleport. Okay, we poison one. Thank you. Yeah, just two more left. I really hate the guts in the middle as well, because normally guts, they're not that bad, but that one's like exactly where you want to go to hide from the freaking angels. Which is, you know, that's why it's there, but it's good room design, but it's freaking annoying. Really? This is not the way of the boss? Son of a bitch. There's a ton of diglets in here. Get out of here, diglets. Get out of here. 
Okay, you're not dying. Thank you. My gear. Now give me a heart. No, we got a bomb. Well, bombs are okay, because we do have Mr. Mega. We got 16 bombs. So we should be doing some pretty damn decent damage. You know what? We're going to play this guy again. Please just pay out your little shit. I don't really know what I want. Like, Sacred Heart would be nice, but I don't seem that likely. We're not going to take the shot speed down since we're already below base shot speed. I don't know if that's a good thing. It's probably not that bad, but... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe if we had the coal, it would be handy, but we don't. And yes, yes, I am just going to hide on this freaking rock because fuck everything about this diggler room. There we go, buddy. That's just you and me. Kill me it. No, no, stop. Stop hiding. Oh my god. Thank you. And we got nothing. You freeloaders. Okay, thank you. Chubby killed one of them. Died. Okay, that was very, very close. Come here, buddy. There we go. And we got so hot. That damn time, like, what the hell am I using you for, Pearl? Don't it be made the Pearl's been doing way better than I, I'm giving it credit for. We've had a bunch of half so hearts, but it's only half, you know? I want full ones, goddammit. Do your job. Otherwise, you'll get replaced. I don't know what with. We don't really have any options, but I'm going to threaten you nonetheless. Hey, we got two coins, which we don't need. Whatever. Right now, I think we should stand a good chance of a deal with the devil here. I don't really know how it works, because I know if you get one on the previous floor, it lowers your chance drastically on the next floor. However, even if we did get one on the last floor, we didn't get a chance to go in there, so... Does it still count? I don't really know. I feel like... Oh, really? You dick! You absolute dick! <laughs> Screw this boss! But yeah, I don't know if we... I, I have no idea. I feel like we should have a good chance since we didn't go in the room. But I don't really know how it works. It might just be because one got spawned on the last floor, it lowers our chance. Or maybe you have to actually go in it and take a deal. I don't really know. And if, if you could die. Holy crap. I know this thing has a lot of HP, but this is... This is goddamn ridiculous. Buddy, I, I can't even hit the damn thing. Well, it's... Po oh, thank you. Well, we didn't get any deal. And we got a cube of meat, so at least we have a little bit more damage by way of Meat Boy. But yeah, unless I'm mistaken, we still have base damage here. Which is kind of freaking insane that we're doing as well as we are, considering that. And we're very, very rapidly running out of opportunities to actually get any more damage. So yeah. Uh, this, uh, right now, we are literally just relying on our familiars to do pretty much all the damage. And, you know, occasional poison. It's... It's kind of shameful. Having said that, we're doing okay considering. I think we've played decently. But, uh, yeah, I don't think we've got enough right now to actually beat the game. We might have enough to beat Isaac. If we can beat Isaac, the chest might pay out. If it doesn't, I don't know what's going to happen. I think we're doomed. It's been kind of a weird run. I mean... We've had some luck. You know, we've got some decent items. We've got the Book of Revelations. We're still doing okay on hearts. We've got the, you know, a good card. Blah, blah, blah. Decent familiars. We're flying, etc. But, as far as shops go, and deals with the devil, both of them have really sucked. Like, really bad. We haven't really been afforded many... Oh, we got a new pill. And it hurt me. Well, fantastic. We haven't really been afforded much opportunity to even go to either of them. And when we have, they haven't really paid out that great. They've been okay. In fact, yeah, the only thing we got from a deal with the devil was freaking poison shots, which at best are okay. The year. And we got... we got the Book of Revelations from a shop, and I think that was it? So between all the deals with the devil and every single shop, we got the Book of Revelations and poison shots. Not exactly that staggering. But yeah, like I say, considering how bad both of those have been, we're still doing decent here. Which is why it's just weird to me. Like, everything else has been not amazing, but good enough, you know? Good enough that we can survive. And that's really all we're doing so far. We're surviving. But how long for? I don't know. Oh, well, yeah. We gotta take this down. Because I think, yes, this should allow us to skip out the cathedral. Because in Camino Remix, what you're supposed to do is go to the cathedral, kill Isaac. Then you go straight to Shoal, you kill Satan, then you go to the chest. However, I'm not down with that. It just makes a long game even longer. Frankly, screw that shit. Oh my god. And the cathedral is kind of boring, in my opinion. There's not really anything there. There's no special rooms. Besides maybe a library and a curse room, if you're lucky. But, uh, yeah. Plus, the Isaac fight is literally exactly the same as the Blue Baby fight, except slightly easier. And you don't get any items like you would do normally on the chest, so... Oh, son of a bitch. 
So yeah, I don't know, man. I just don't really like doing that flat and then going to blue, baby, because it's like doing the same damn thing twice in a row. So yeah. if we can skip down and go to show instead, how much prefer that? This is a way cooler boss fight in my opinion. And I'm taking a shit ton of damage. But yeah, plus, since we we are not having the most amazing run of all time, it's, it's uh, as I mentioned, it's going okay. We're surviving here, but I don't really think we're strong enough to take out Isaac and then take on Shoal and the Devil, unless we get very lucky with Soul Heart drops and shit, so. I mean, at least we've had a quick Shoal here, it's like three rooms. Yeah, three, because the first one's always empty, so. We only had to fire three rooms before we even got the second, so. We've been very lucky here with our show. The, the cathedral could have taken like 20 rooms and could have potentially killed us before we even got here, so. Yeah, frankly, I'm just really not a huge fan of the cathedral. If we can skip it out, then I'm down with that. And yeah, gotta be very, very careful here. Again, we're doing okay on hearts, but merely okay. We need to conserve as many as we possibly can for the chest. Oh, shit. Because we could just open up the chest there and get complete crap. And then we have to coast on what we have. Which, not exactly easy. But yeah, gotta be very careful. Okay, I would say the lap part of that fight went decently. Now give me some good booty. Well, that's kind of shitty. We'll take that, obviously it's more hearts, that's okay. Skeleton and key we're probably never gonna use. We'll take the anchor's cookbook and screw it, we're just gonna teleport straight to Blue Baby. So the skeleton key does nothing for us, but uh, I, I don't feel right leaving the damn thing. But yeah, the Akis cookbook, it was worth a try. Maybe would have been better off me saving that until the angels popped up, but... The other possibility there is that I lay down a bunch of bombs and then I have to dodge between my bombs and the angel shots out. Oh no. I think we can do this, but I think if we do it, it's gonna be bloody close. Like, and I think the only reason we really stand a chance here is because we got the Polaroid. Without that, we'd be fucked. Like, absolutely fucked. Because, yeah, we only have one uh, orbital defending us right now, and it's not doing a fantastic job. And like I say, we still have base damage. We have familiars, we got some fire rate up, but we have base damage. Which is kind of insane, especially this blue baby. And, uh, yeah, it's time to drop some freaking Mr. Megas. Well, you know, one, because we're out of them, apparently. So, uh, yeah, I'm trying to do everything I can to smack the shit out of him with my meat when we get the Polaroid Invincibility. I think we're gonna die. And I think we're gonna die just before the end. Son of a bitch. Okay, I have to dodge like a champion now. We need this heart to last as long as it possibly can. Otherwise, we are screwed. Okay, he's almost dead. Da -da -da -da. Don't hit me. No, 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 no. Keep going. Keep going. No, the beam of lights! Okay, he's down. We got half a soul heart, which does nothing for us. We need to kill these things without getting hit. Die! Yes! Victory get to her on one freaking heart. Okay! <laughs> So we beat the game as Blue Baby with base damage and a few familiars. That's uh, that was a weird run. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I was appreciate a like, and I will see you next time for more Isaac.